very much and thank you for that warm welcome. It's a great building here and I have fond memories and maybe it was blessed with a bit of good luck for me over, over those years in 2003. Good morning everyone. My name is Gino Oriema and I'm the Vocational Student of the Year for 2014 and currently one of the many training ambassadors for the VET sector in this room. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Department of Training and Workforce Development for giving me this time to share my experiences and achievements with everyone here today. The purpose of my short presentation is to share with you a small part of my life's journey which had a massive influence over the way in which I have changed my future and hopefully this will encourage others to follow in my footsteps. Would you guys like to hear me tell you about how the training has changed my life? After a 10 year training journey, I completed the Diploma of Building and Construction in 2013. This was a prerequisite course which is the pathway to becoming a registered builder in Western Australia. My journey began in the summer of 2002 when I had just returned back to Perth after being employed in the southwest as a manager of a concrete manufacturer serving the building and construction industry. In 1995, I'd completed a tertiary qualification beforehand and was well on my way to building a successful career with my current employer when I realised I had a new passion to become a builder, following in the footsteps of those I'd been serving. I began to follow my dream in 2003 by starting the Diploma of Builders Registration at Challenger TAFE in Fremantle. My training kicked off great and things were going really well. I was 100% dedicated to learning. I was living a very simple life. My wife Delilah and I had a small but cosy house and our lives were pretty much under control to this point. I found it easy to balance work and studies. However, life storms soon caught up with me and my little perfect world and, as soon as, and, and they presented one of life's major challenges in 2005. I was going to be a dad for the first time. After the birth of our son Jonah, I suddenly felt the need to concentrate more on my newborn and offer additional support to my wife, who was now a full-time mum. The time I had set aside for my studies was slowly being totally redirected towards my new family and change eventually took hold of my abilities to continue my training. We had a second child, Alexandra, two years later and I felt the need to start building a new home to grow our to house our growing family. I tried to stay connected with my training through this period, however, when our third and last child, Zachary, was born, um, I had no choice but to stop all learning activities and finish off the family home with whatever time I had outside of my full-time job. Throughout this extended period, not once did I lose the passion to one day return back to the vet sector and complete the second half of my starter diploma. I knew that the challenges of raising and supporting my family would get easier with time and being a determined person I would eventually finish my training as a reward for my patience, perseverance and endurance. In early 2013 at the age of 40 the very opportunity I was looking for presented to me when I took long service and enrolled myself at the Polytechnic West Belga campus to complete the final missing subjects. Although the original curriculum had changed substantially with many modern updates and improvements, I was still able to continue the course with the assistance of helpful lecturers who worked extra shifts so that I could complete the remaining units to finish my diploma finally after a 10 long year journey. After graduating, I became eligible to enter into the Polytechnic Student Awards and was a humble recipient of the 2013 Vocational Student of the Year. Winning the award was a great honour and only just a prelude to an even more amazing achievement when I was selected as a finalist in the WA Training Awards. Amongst very talented individuals, I won my category and went on to represent Western Australia at the Australian Training Awards late last year in Adelaide. Life has some pretty simple rules. They include hard work, dedication and perseverance. Nothing I've achieved today has been by chance. The training provided to me during my study journey was matched with a lot of personal effort. The lecturers who never gave up on me over my 10 year journey, I'll never forget. 
They provided my inspiration, giving me encouragement and support along my training pathway, both in and out of the classroom. My success is based on a solid foundation provided to me over a long period by my lecturers, who were my biggest influence at my training institution, Polytechnic West. They gave me an opportunity to change my family's life and mine forever. To the training providers in the audience, I hope that my unique story will inspire you to have an influence in giving to others a life-changing moment that they can share. By listening to my experience, you'll recognise that you are training next year's success story. They could be here talking about you next year. The future of our VET system depends on how we reskill and train our students. Australia's future depends on our VET sector, which contributes. And how we prepare gives us an opportunity to capitalise on the future success that's just waiting for us when things improve. What does the future look like for me? Well, simply put, very exciting. I'm working through several exciting opportunities and have already started operating the family company, Costello Homes. We are currently working on our very first development in our local area. I'd like to share a final motto I have in life. That's the three L's, to live, to love, and to learn. I trust that I've provided a positive message to kick off your day. We all must persist with training in WA so that people just like me, desperate for a better life and future, can begin to achieve their goals. Trading must remain one of our key focuses today and into the future. I'm dedicated to the cause. How about you? How much do you want to help someone else change their life forever, just like mine? Thank you. Authorised by the Government of Western Australia, Perth.